Hi, I'm Erica Mills, and welcome to this week's Tune Up Tuesday. This week, we are going to talk about a question that will seem so straightforward, you will wonder, why is this the second stop on the nonprofit messaging roadmap? Remember last week, I had you write down the answers to the two questions. What would be different in community if your organization didn't exist? And number two, why do you exist? So that's about the why of your organization. That allows people to make that con connection around what you believe and what they believe. The next que question is, what do you do? What does your organization do? Now, I'm sure that you've thought about this before. And I'm sure that you have an answer. But think about it this way. Most organizations have an answer to that question that's really long. Because those of us in the nonprofit sector love what we do. We are so excited about what we do that we want to share our everything with people. And so we end up telling them everything that we do, all the great stuff. And the bummer about this is that in telling them you're everything, they remember nothing. So the answer to the question, what do you do, isn't a laundry list. It is the essence of your organization. It is the one or two maybe things that is left if everything else went away, and if that went away, then your organization would no longer exist. It would no longer need to exist. So another way to think about this is about, uh, so another way to think about this is to think about mental file folders. So it turns out that our brains work exactly the same way as our physical file folders that you probably have in your office or home. And you have one topic per file folder. You have accounting and bookkeeping and kids and all of these things. So our brains work the same way. So what you want is to end up in the file folder that is really aligned with the one thing that you want people to associate with your organization, right? So let me give you an example. There's an organization called Explorations in Math. Now, as their name implies, they're about math. But there are a number of organizations that do math-related activities. And they have a wide variety of really wonderful program offerings. The file folder that it is imperative that they land in is elementary school math. So what they believe is that elementary school students who succeed in math succeed in life. And they know that when you get to students early, they're more successful with math going forward. So it's not just math, it's elementary school math. Does that speak to the work they do with parents and caregivers? Does it speak to the work they do at the district level or the advocacy level? Not necessarily. But when somebody says, hey, I know a kid who's struggling at this school and, you know, she's in grade three. We know exactly which file folder to go to, which is explorations of math in the uh, elementary school math file folder. Now, you will be tempted you will be tempted to get more vague about this because in narrowing it down to one file folder, you're not telling people you're everything. So you risk being put into the miscellaneous file folder. Now, if you have ever found anything in your miscellaneous file folder, please send me an email because I would love to know about it. But in general, the miscellaneous file folder is when you kind of can't make a decision, but you, you don't really want to recycle it. Great, except that if explorations of math have been that vague about their file folder, when somebody down the road said, hey, I know this great kid who's struggling with math and she's in elementary school, I wouldn't have been able to access the information about who in the community was doing that work. So that's why it's so important to really get very crystal clear about what you do. Last week, you had to answer two questions and write them down. This week, I also want you to write down the answer to two questions. The first is, what would be the tab on that file folder that you would want people to associate with your organization? Not your everything, just your essence. And the second question is, what do you do? So that next week, when we talk about a very unpopular topic in the nonprofit sector, but a very important point on the nonprofit messaging roadmap, competition. We will be able to build on what you've done the past two weeks and think about competition in a completely new way.